This is the public relations audit of the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences at Belmont University by Karen Bennett. The purpose of conducting an audit of the public relations practices of the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences is to identify areas of strength and areas of weakness within the college. The value of this audit is providing the college a comprehensive and strategic plan to help the college move forward to achieve its goals. And the process of conducting the audit uses the traditional application of the four PR principles, research, planning, communication, and evaluation. It has been said that to understand anything, you must understand it historically. With that in mind, here is a brief overview of the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences and the Institution of Higher Education. In 2014, the College of Arts and Sciences was split into two colleges, one of which is now the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Classes com is comprised of three schools and nine departments. The college is one of nine colleges that make up the whole of Belmont University. The College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences at Belmont is part of the institution of higher education. And the purpose of higher education is to train an individual in a profession or in the liberal arts. Now let's look at how class approaches public relations. There is no public relations position in the college. It is a shared responsibility among all its members. Further, all efforts are created and managed in-house. This is certainly an area to improve. Now we will focus on the situation analysis. The most commonly used tool for this is a SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We have identified the class strengths as the dedication of the faculty and staff to the college's vision and purpose. The weakness is the lack of a public relations position. Opportunities is class provides a robust student experience over competing universities. These experiences come in the forms of expertise of faculty, study abroad options, and a beautiful campus environment. And lastly, the threats are a decline in enrollment and the perceived higher cost of tuition. The most significant circumstance that the college faces is a decrease in enrollment. The rest of this audit will focus on that specific situation. To combat this threat, you must understand who your publics are. Publics can be divided into four categories, producers, consumers, enablers, and limiters. For the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, the producers are professors, the consumers are students, enablers are staff and donor and alumni, and the limiters are competitors, to name a few. Now let's talk about the communication tactics. We have examples of six tactics used by the college to increase enrollment. They are Tourific Tuesday Facebook Live event. This is a Facebook Live event that takes place on, you guessed it, a Tuesday, and it gives a virtual tour of facilities and faculty and programs. There is also an invitation that is emailed to students that are registered for a preview day, asking them to attend a sample lecture. Another tactic is to send a text message to students encouraging them to register for a Collaborate information session. And Collaborate is a software that the college uses to create a virtual classroom. There are departmental interest letters that are mailed to students that have expressed an interest in a specific department or major, but have yet to either start or submit an application. Another is that the recruitment coordinator will call all admitted students the last two weeks of April that have yet to make an enrollment deposit, encouraging them to do so. And lastly, social media posts. There are two broad recommendations that we can make for the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. The first is to no longer hold live lectures, but instead to email a recorded lecture to those students that have registered for preview day. 
The second broad recommendation is to conduct a SWOT analysis with the college administrators to create a cohesive and strategic social media communication plan. Regardless of the SWOT analysis with the college administrators in regards to social media, there are some useful social media tactics that can be used now. Video testimonials of current students, weekly Instagram polls, a series on things to do in Nashville that would be posted in August. On convocation posts, post a comment from a student that attended that convocation telling of their experience. Greater spotlights on faculty research products, projects and post video clips of speakers and convocations. In conclusion, it is this presenter's opinion that by using the four principles, there is only opportunity for growth for the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences.